एम सी क्यू जोन केस लाज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ पार्ट वन बाई दीपक मिगलानी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन दी केस ऑफ इंडियन काउंसिल फॉर इनवायरो लीगल एक्शन वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इट वाज हेल्ड दैट दी रूल लेड डाउन इन एम सी मेहता केस वाज ऑप्शन ए नोट ए डिपार्चर फ्रॉम द लॉ एप्लाइड इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज ऑप्शन बी एन ऑबिटर डिक्टा एंड वाज एप्रोप्रिएट एंड सुटेड टू कंडीशंस प्रिवेलिंग इन इंडिया ऑप्शन सी नोट ऑबिटर डिक्टा बट वाज नोट एप्रोप्रिएट एंड सुटेड टू कंडीशंस प्रिवेलिंग इन इंडिया ऑप्शन डी नोट ऑबिटर डिक्टा एंड वाज एप्रोप्रिएट एंड सुटेड टू कंडीशंस प्रिवेलिंग इन इंडिया इन द केस ऑफ इंडियन काउंसिल फॉर इनवायरो लीगल एक्शन वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया इट वाज हेल्ड दैट द रूल लेड डाउन इन एम सी मेहता केस वाज एन ऑबिटर डिक्टा एंड वाज एप्रोप्रिएट एंड सुटेड टू कंडीशंस प्रिवेलिंग इन इंडिया ऑप्शन बी इज आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केसेस वाज इट ऑब्जर्व दैट द ऑब्जेक्टिव स्पेसिफाइड इन द प्रियम्बल कंटेन द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच कैन नॉट बी ए अमेंडेड in exercise of the power under article 368 of the constitution option a keshwananda bharti versus state of kerala option b lingappa versus state of maharashtra option c ds nakda versus union of india option d amar singh versus state of rajasthan in keshwananda bharti versus state of kerala it was observed that the objectives specified in the preamble contain the basic structure of our constitution which cannot be amended in exercise of the power under article 368 of the constitution option a is answer answer is option a question number 3 in which one of the following cases it was held that a law made under article 368 would be subject to article 13 close to like any other law option a shankri prasad versus union of india option b sajjan singh versus state of rajasthan option c golaknath versus state of punjab option d minerva mills limited versus union of india in golaknath versus state of punjab it was held that a law made under article 368 would be subject to article 13 close to like any other law answer is option c question number 4 in which one of the following cases it was laid down that presidential proclamation dissolving a state legislative assembly is subject to judicial review option a arun versus union of india option b s r bomai versus union of india option c a k roy versus union of india option d state of rajasthan versus union of india in sr bomai versus union of india it was laid down that presidential proclamation dissolving a state legislative assembly is subject to judicial review option b is answer answer is option b
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इन विच वन ऑफ दॉइंग केसेज इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट प्रेसिडेंट शुड नॉट बी पेट्रीफाइड नोर जुडिशियल डिक्टा डाइवोर्स्ड फ्रॉम द सोशो इकोनॉमिक मोर्स ऑफ द एज ऑप्शन ए ममलेश्वर वर्सेस कन्हैया लाल ऑप्शन बी के सी डोरा वर्सेस जी अनम्मा नायडू ऑप्शन सी स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल वर्सेस कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ कैलकाटा ऑप्शन डी बंगाल इम्यूनिटी कंपनी लिमिटेड वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ बिहार इन बंगाल इम्यूनिटी कंपनी लिमिटेड वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ बिहार इट वाज ऑब्जर्व by the supreme court that president should not be petrified nor judicial dicta divorced from the socio economic mores of the age option d is answer answer is option d question number 6 the new concept of equality as an antithesis of arbitrariness was propounded first by the supreme court in which of the following cases option a ramakrishna dalmia versus justice tendolkar option b menka gandhi versus union of india option c e p rupaiya versus state of tamil nadu option d state of west bengal versus anwar ali sarkar the new concept of equality as an antithesis of arbitrariness was propounded first by the supreme court in ep rupaiya versus state of tamil nadu option c is answer answer is option c question number 7 in which one of the following cases has the supreme court upheld the constitutional validity of the constitution 93rd amendment act introducing articles 15 clause 5 option a m nagraj versus union of india option b ashok kumar thakur versus union of india option c tma pai foundation versus state of karnataka option d indira swane versus union of india in m nagraj versus union of india the supreme court upheld the constitutional validity of the constitution 93rd amendment act introducing articles 15 clause 5 option a is answer answer is option a question number 8 after which one of the following decisions of the supreme court was the special provision for socially and classes introduced by an educationally backward amendment of the constitution option a balaji versus state of mysore option b state of madras versus champakam durai rajan option c e p royappa versus state of tamil nadu option d priya kuruppam versus state of tamil nadu after which one of the following decisions of the supreme court was the special provision for socially and classes introduced by an educationally backward amendment of the constitution state of madras versus champakam durai rajan option b is answer answer is option b question number 9 match list 1 with list 2 and select and correct answer using the code given below the lists list 1 subject matter a reservation in unaided private colleges b 27% reservation for obcs in government services c constitution validity of laws included in the ninth schedule list 2 case 1 e vichanaya versus 
स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश टू आई आर कोहिलो वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु थ्री पी ए इनामदार वर्सेस स्टेट फोर इंदिरा सवाने वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया रिजर्वेशन इन अनएडेड प्राइवेट कॉलेजेस पी ए इनामदार ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट रिजर्वेशन फॉर ओबीसीज इन गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेज इंदिरा सवाने वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल वैलिडिटी ऑफ लॉज इंक्लूडेड इन द नाइन्थ शेड्यूल आई आर कोहेलो वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ तमिलनाडु ऑप्शन ए इज आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन वट इज द करेक्ट क्रोनोलॉजिकल सिक्वेंस ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एडवाइजरी ओपिनियंस गिवन बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अंडर आर्टिकल 143 ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया वन इन री दिल्ली लाज एक्ट केस टू इन री बेरूबराई केस थ्री इन री दिसी कस्टम्स एक्ट फोर स्पेशल कोर्ट रेफरेंस केस Select the correct answer using the codes given below. Codes: Option A, one two three four. Option B, two one three four. Option C, two three four one. Option D, two four three one. What is the correct chronological sequence of the following advisory opinions given by the Supreme Court under Article one forty three of the Constitution of India? In Re Delhi Laws Act case one. In re Beru Bari case, two. In re the Sea Custom Act, three. Special Court Reference Case, four. Answer is option A. Option A is answer. Question number eleven. Rajiv Kumar Gupta versus Union of India. 2016 deals with the reservation in state services four option a persons with disability option b women option c scheduled castes and scheduled tribes option d other backward classes rajiv kumar gupta versus union of india 2016 deals with the reservation in state services four persons with disability option a is answer answer is option a question number 12 in which one of the following cases did the supreme court observe that there is a need to confine the exercise of power under article 356 clause 1 strictly to the situation mentioned therein which is a condition precedent to the said exercise option a sr bombay versus union of india option b minerva mills limited versus union of india option c golaknath versus state of punjab option d state of rajasthan versus union of india in which one of the following cases did the supreme court observe that there is a need to confine the exercise of power under article 356 clause 1 strictly to the situation mentioned therein which is a condition precedent to the said exercise as sarbomai versus union of india answer is option a option a is answer question number 13 match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer by using the codes given below the list list 1 case a supreme court advocates on records association versus union of india b in re vinay chandra c in re keshav singh d rupa ashok hura versus ashok hura 1 
पार्लियामेंट्री प्रिविलेजेस टू कॉन्ट्रेक्टिव पिटिशन थ्री कंटेम्प्ट पावर्स फोर अपॉइंटमेंट एंड ट्रांसफर ऑफ जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड हाई कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट एडवोकेट्स ऑन रिकॉर्ड्स एसोसिएशन वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया अपॉइंटमेंट एंड ट्रांसफर ऑफ जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड हाई कोर्ट इन री विनय चंद्रा कंटेम्प्ट पावर्स इन री केशव सिंह पार्लियामेंट्री प्रिविलेजेस रूपा अशोक हुरा वर्सेस अशोक हुरा कॉन्ट्रेक्टिव पिटिशन ऑप्शन डी इज आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ए रिसेंट decision of the supreme court of india is related to the issue of domicile in the state concerned for getting elected to the council of states which one of the following cases is associated with the above option a rameshwar prasad versus union of india option b kuldeep nayar versus union of india option c एस आर बोमई वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब ऑप्शन डी एस आर चौधरी वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया ए रिसेंट डिसीजन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया इज रिलेटेड टू द इशू ऑफ डोमिसाइल इन द स्टेट कंसर्न फॉर गेटिंग इलेक्टेड टू द काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केसेस इज एसोसिएटेड विद द एब कुलदीप नैयर वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया ऑप्शन बी इज आंसर आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन इन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग केसेस द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैविली रिलाइड अपॉन द डायरेक्टिव प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ स्टेट पॉलिसी कंटेंड अंडर आर्टिकल फोर्टी सिक्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया टू अपहोल्ड ए स्टेट लॉ विच वॉज Challenged as violation of fundamental right to religious freedom. Option A: State of Gujarat versus Mirzapur Moti Qureshi. Option B: P. A. Inamdar versus State of Maharashtra. Option C: Forum Prevention of Environmental and Sound Pollution versus Union of India. Option D: Subay Singh versus State of Haryana. in which one of the following cases the supreme court heavily relied upon the directive principles of state policy contained under article 46 of the constitution of india to uphold a state law which was challenged as a violation of fundamental right to religious freedom in state of gujarat versus mirzapur moti qureshi the supreme court heavily relied upon the directive principles of state policy contained under article 46 of the constitution of india to uphold a state law which was challenged as a violation of fundamental right to religious freedom option a is answer question number 16 which one of the following has no relation to the theory of separation of power option a articles 73 and 162 of the constitution of india option b asif hamid versus state of jammu and kashmir option c shamsher singh versus state of punjab option d doctrine of basic structure which one of the following has no relation to the theory of separation of power samsher singh versus state of punjab option c is answer answer is option c question number 
मैच लिस्ट वन विद लिस्ट टू एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर बाय यूजिंग द कोड्स गिवन बिलो द लिस्ट लिस्ट वन जुडिशियल डॉक्ट्रिन ए डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ वेवर बी डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ एक्लिप्स सी डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ सेवरेबिलिटी डी डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ रिपग्नेंसी लिस्ट टू केस वन केसरे हिंद प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेज एन टी सी टू भीकाजी वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ एम पी थ्री बशेशर नाथ वर्सेज सी आई टी फोर स्टेट ऑफ बॉम्बे वर्सेज एफ एन बलसारा डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ वेवर बशेशर नाथ वर्सेज सी आई टी डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ एक्लिप्स भीकाजी वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ एम पी डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ सेवरेबिलिटी स्टेट ऑफ बॉम्बे वर्सेज एफ एन बलसारा डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ रिपग्नेंसी केसरे हिंद प्राइवेट लिमिटेड वर्सेज एन टी सी आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ऑप्शन ए इज आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन मैच लिस्ट वन विद लिस्ट टू एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर the using the codes given below the lists list 1 subject a limits of the reservation in public employment b pardoning power of the governor c environmental protection list 2 case 1 balaji versus state of mysore 2 mc mehta versus union of india 3 km nanavati versus state of bombay limits of reservation in public employment balaji versus state of mysore pardoning power of the governor km nanavarti versus state of bombay environmental protection mc mehta versus union of india option a is answer answer is option a question number 19 in which of the following case supreme court held that seeking votes in election in the name of religion is a corrupt practice option a abhiram singh versus cd comechen and others option b vijendra singh versus state of uttar pradesh option c sheikh abdul versus state of uttar pradesh option d none of the above in abhiram singh versus cd comma chain and others supreme court held that seeking votes in election in the name of religion is a corrupt practice option a is answer question number 20 in which of the following cases the supreme court had observed that if the supreme court and the high court both were to be thought of as brothers in the administration of justice the high court has larger jurisdiction but the supreme court still remains the elder brother option a jahira habibullah sheikh versus state of gujarat option b tirupati balaji developers private limited versus state of bihar option c honorable shri rangnath mishra versus union of india option d special reference number 1 of 2002 in special reference number 1 of 2002 the supreme court had observed that if the supreme court and the high court both were to be thought of as brothers in the administration of justice the high court has larger jurisdiction but the supreme court still remains the elder brother option d is answer answer is option d please like the video share the video and subscribe the youtube channel thank you